coming up after the break, our film critic James Let's Hulnard do this. Let's with a look at this weekend's box office. Which movie should Let's you go see? We'll tell you. Stay tuned. Motor boating. Uncle Andy has a boat. That's right, John. It's movie time. You want to know where to spend that 10 bucks this weekend? Well, here's the guy who knows best. The Toledo Free Press movie critic James Milnard joins us with his reviews from the movies that we can see this weekend. Now, I have to be honest with you. I have an eight-month-old. The last time I tried to see a movie was Les Mis, and we lasted 15 minutes. So... Okay. I'm overdue for movies. I need to know the top movie Perfect. to see. <laughs> well, you know, Jean Valjean was leading the way at Les Mis, and he's kind of back in theaters. He's not singing, but Hugh Jackman, who was on the cover of Toledo Free Press this weekend. You can read an interview with him from one of our freelancers. And, yeah, he's, he's back. The Wolverine, kind of the anti-hero that you're not really sure if you like or not, is back in theaters. And this one follows... Um, there was a Wolverine movie in 2009. Uh -huh. And... And I think the studio pretty much wrote that one off. It was not very critically well liked and it didn't do that well at the box office. So, so this, this is one, supposed to be better. <laughs> yes. And I didn't have very high expectations. I actually, if I, if I had to choose with $10, ten yeah. Dollars, yeah. I probably would not have chosen this movie. That said, I actually really enjoyed this movie. That's good news for those people that like action. Yes, and this one also had some really cool kind of ninja fighting because it's all set in Japan. And so it, it had some really cool uh, style to this movie. And, of course, Hugh Jackman is really... I like Hugh does Jackman. does really well in I this like movie. I like him. I do. I'm a fan. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so, like I said, there's no singing in this movie, but it is definitely enjoyable. And if you're going to go see it, stay through the credits. There is a big scene that uh, previews the next movie coming out next year. So, you're going to want to stick through the oh, mid-credit scene. Very, I, it's very Sam substantial. Sam's glad you said that for us. So, yeah, that's very good. And that's really the only uh, big movie coming out this weekend. Okay. But there are also uh, two other movies that... Um, you probably wouldn't want to take your, your eight-month-old to. <laughs> okay, good warning for parents out there with kids. <laughs> Don't take them to this movie. What is yes, it? The, the next movie that you kind of teased before the break was The To-Do List. This uh -huh. is kind of like the uh, American Pie but female version. This, this girl is kind of inexperienced uh, sexually, and so before she gets to college, she wants to make sure that she, she doesn't uh, seem like a dunce in that department. And so, as you see, she's the valedictorian here in school, and she just wants to, to, to get everything off of her to-do list before she enters college, and her friends, is gonna help, friends are going to help her do that. Okay, so again, a little humor, but not for a young Yeah, this people. is rated <laughs> R. Um, it's, it's 100 minutes, and it's getting mixed reviews from critics. Some are saying that, you know, it's, it's genuinely funny, uh, especially kind of giving the female perspective. Right, right. But at the same time, it's a little crass and maybe a little too much. So. Okay, so I uh, kind of like the Wolverine so far. Okay, there you go. And the then next. the next one is The Way Way Back. This one came out limited release back in July, uh -huh. early July. And so now it's coming to Toledo. And this one is also kind of a coming of age summer story. You have uh, a kid here, uh, a 14 year old who goes on vacation with his mother and he's just trying to figure out how to fit in. And Aww. he kind of befriends the manager of a, of a water park and he kind of helps helps him uh, come into his own. And so this one is PG-13, and this one is, is getting actually really good reviews, especially Sam Rockwell's performance in there. Yeah. And it says it's sweet and heartfelt. It's not necessarily the most original movie, but it's, it looks to be a good movie. And, you know, Allison Janney, I, I enjoy her. And this is yeah. uh, from the writers that brought that the Oscar winning writers of The Descendants, one of my favorite movies a few years back. All right, so. well, it's a little bit more G rated for the family, so that one looks yes. really nice to see. Okay, well, there thank you, you so much, and hopefully, people can send in me tips. I, again, I'm new with the baby taken to a theater. I'm cheap, I don't really want to get a babysitter, so hopefully, the there Wolverine, I don't know, earplugs maybe. <laughs> All right, thank you so much.